Hey, hey, party people. I want to talk to you about a question I get on my channel a lot. That question is, Zoe, I'm applying to design school. What should my portfolio look like? The answer is, I don't know, specifically. What you need to do is contact the school that you want to apply to. Okay, They're the ones who are going to decide, and so those are the people you should be asking. Okay? It's related to another question I get. My teacher assigned me this homework assignment, and I don't know how to do it. It's like, I can't give you advice on a project someone else gave you because that someone is going to be doing the grading and not me. And so you need to do your assignment the way your teacher gave it to you. And if you have questions on that project, then you need to ask your teacher. If you want to ask me a general question like, hey, Zoe, how do you render lace? I'll say, I have a whole 45 minute lace rendering video. Please go watch it. Okay. So back to portfolios. Every school the world over has different portfolio requirements. And 0% of them ask me for advice on which students to accept into their programs. Every school has an admissions department that looks at student applications and decides whether they're a good fit for their school. Okay. So what you need to do is figure out which schools that you think would be a good fit for you, and then go contact the admissions department for any specific questions on their portfolio requirements. Okay. And I say that because most admissions departments, they have a website, like the school has a website, and usually there's a section for how to apply to the school, and they'll give you a list of you need to submit this, 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 and this. Okay. And then if you have further questions, you can email or call the admissions department and be like, uh, so really, what are you looking for? Here's the thing. Here's a dirty little secret that people don't like to talk about, but it's, it's an open secret, okay? It's not really a secret. Schools are a business just like any other company, and they need customers and money to stay in business. And yeah, a lot of schools, they get grants from the government and funding in different ways, but really, they need your tuition money to stay in business, to stay afloat, to continue being a school. And so when a student calls in, it's like some guy walking into a car lot and being like, look, I'm interested in your cars. Can you answer some questions for me? Now, the guy, he didn't say, I'm going to buy this car, so now you have to help me, but I'm interested in your cars, so can you answer some questions? That's how it works, right? And the salesperson will be like, well, let me answer these questions, and hopefully he will like my answers, and I'll have the car that he's looking for. School is the same way, okay? When a student calls and says, hey, I'm really interested in your fashion design program, what kind of portfolio are you looking for so I can submit the best possible one? They want to help you. They want you to go to their school for the most part. It's like, hey, that's tuition money. Hey, that's a, that's a student, okay? And yeah, no, 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 I'm not saying that schools can't be passionate about educating, okay? I'm not saying that at all. But the fact is, schools also have to make money. And so schools also have to talk to their students and appeal to new students coming in and appeal to continuing students in into getting them to stay. Right? So don't feel like you're bothering the admissions department when you contact them and ask them for more advice on how to create a portfolio. Here's one tip I give to everyone. Do not apply to just one school, but rather apply to two or three schools. I applied to four different art schools, and <clears throat> the thing is, number one, if you apply to a school and you don't get in, then you have to wait another application cycle to apply to a different school. Okay? Because you can't just start school whenever you want. You have to start at the beginning of the term, and so there are all these deadlines. And so if you don't get accepted and you have to figure out a, a second school to apply to, that you have to wait that many months. And who wants to wait for their future to start? 
I would apply to minimum two. Three is better. Schools that you could feasibly see yourself attending. Of course, you're going to have a favorite, whatever. But apply to multiple schools. And then you can make your decision based on which school you got accepted to and kind of speeds everything along. Applying to multiple schools is not that much harder than applying to one if you do it all at once. Okay, here's how I did it. So I had four schools I wanted to apply. I had six, but I narrowed it down at some point because application fees, man, whatever. So they'll each be like, oh, well, um, this school wants 12 to 20 photos of this kind of work. This school wants 15 to 20 photos of these kinds of works, et cetera, et cetera. But there's a lot of overlap. Like a lot of schools want a self-portrait. A lot of schools want uh, examples of observational still life drawing, okay, as examples. And so I put together a portfolio of about 35-ish things and then I just separated them. Like I did, I went, pulled pieces from my portfolio. I worked on new things. I had one big photo shoot where I shot like over 30 pieces. And then I divvied them. Like these were for, you know, this school and these were for that school. Okay? Which is not that much more work than just making a portfolio for one school, right? And then these school essays, they're pretty similar. They're pretty similar. And just like cover letters for a job application, you want to make it, uh, you want to tailor it for the school that you're applying to because the number one way to not get a job is to send in a blanket cover letter that has nothing specific tailored to that job or company. So you're going to tailor these essays, but they're, they're, a lot of them are similar. And applications, you're kind of getting the groove and you fill out all these applications. And then if you have to send out letters of recommendation, it's easy. It's much easier to ask your teacher, hey, so I'm applying to three schools. Can I get three copies of that letter? As a teacher, I would rather just do it once. You know, if a student, like I've written lots of letters of recommendation, and it's much easier for me if a student says, hey, I'm applying to these schools. Can you just do it all in one go? Then them hitting me up later and be like, oh, can I, we do another? So that's my advice on portfolios. Go straight to the source, ask them all your questions. They actually do want to help you because they want you to attend their school. All right. So hit that thumbs up button if this video was helpful and I will see you in the next video.